Welcome, Dr. James Beckett, Sports Card Insights, here with another uh, short weekend episode. Didn't know how to title this. It's not a tribute. <laughs> it's not an interview, but it's just my reaction to the news uh, from last week that Joe Orlando had resigned, that Nat Turner's uh, now taking over as the CEO of Collector's Universe PSA. Just wanted to give you my reaction to that. The smoke has cleared a little bit, a different news cycle, but this is a big in many respects, and I want to shed a little light on it. But first, thanks sponsors, Tops, Panini, and Upper Deck, Heritage Auctions, Hugs and Scott Auctions, Mike Stadium Sports Cards, Burbank Sports Cards, Comcy.com and Beckett Media, Beckett Grading, Beckett Authentication. When I got the news, I was not shocked because these things happen. It's not unexpected when uh, there's a change of control in a, in a company and somebody comes in and puts their money up and, and takes an active role, as Nat Turner uh, did. It's very frequent that the CEO and the chairman of the board can be the same person. It means Nat is uh, going to take an even more active role in the day-to-day oversight of the company. I don't see that as bad. It's not even bad for Joe. My experience when I sold uh, my company and uh, the new ownership came in and I had a, a president, they had a non-compete for me and, and all these other kinds of legal documents, but they did lock up two key employees with the employment agreements, one of which was terminated early. Resignation is the word, but generally these things are negotiated and discussed. Mark Harwell was not with the company that long. Peter Goodmanson had come in to be the CEO. Mark was president president and uh, Mark was uh, moved on after six months or so, I think. My experience, I I moved on. I was out of the chain of command when I sold the company and I got along great with Peter. I'd been close friends with Mark, but Mark had other business opportunities to pursue if he so desired, which he did. So I had a good relationship with Peter because I, I tried to make sure I wasn't going to cast a shadow. I was still in the building for a while. That's tricky, but it worked. I noted that Joe had been uh, 22 years with uh, PSA. And I was 22 years with Beckett Publications. Of course, I was Beckett before there was a Beckett Publications. I was very active in the hobby for the previous uh, 10 years, but still 22 years working for one company, whether you own it or not, or whether you're a CEO or not, is still uh, a pretty long time. One of the thoughts that came up, and I don't know if this came up with Joe, but the new ownership of my company, I think there was a perception that when somebody gets a payday, and Joe uh, got a payday, as, as I did, I'm not going to be comparing who got what, but there is sometimes a perception on the, the part of the acquirers that when there's a liquidity event, uh, the person is not going to be incentivized in the same way because they've had a, a pretty good hit financially, positive hit. So their net worth is increased enough where the perceptions, maybe they don't want to burn the midnight oil. But I'm sure Joe had a non-compete. I'm sure there were NDAs or trade secret kinds of things that were discussed. Again, Again, he would be allowed to stay in the hobby, which he's expressed, but I think he will be precluded from competing. Uh, you can imagine if he were to sign up with a fledgling grading company or a startup or even an established grading company and come in a senior role, he would uh, certainly bring credibility and relationships. I had a, not, a non-compete, and I, I'm sure Joe does too, and I, but I'm sure just like me, he, he would like to see his baby that he tended that grew up under his, would do well as I do with BGS. Frequently, these executives in a public company, which PSA was, as Joe being the CEO, have stock options. And those stock options trigger when there's a change of control and they vest. So any stock options, even if he wasn't fully vested, he would have gotten a good hit on those because those options were for sure big time in the money. If I think he got a nice payday. Maybe he doesn't need to work. I don't expressly need to work, but it's a choice. Some people work even when they don't have to because they love it. So I, I, I think Joe will be involved in some way. And I'm looking forward to seeing what he does. And again, I want to encourage him. I think it's an amazing industry, amazing hobby. And if it's his personal passion, he's one of my guys. One of the comments uh, that was made, and I'm just looking at the documentation that came out, you can read the press releases, but I try to go between the lines. But the fact that Joe wants to stay involved in the hobby, uh, again, it, I just think he's going to be precluded from uh, being more than a, a collector or any way that would be confusing to uh, people that knew him through his role at uh, PSA. But uh, Nat was uh, quoted that Joe had been an indispensable part of Collector's Universe. And I just quibble with the word indispensable. Guys, I don't think I was indispensable. <laughs> Joe was not indispensable. Steve Rocky before him was not indispensable. Nat Turner is not indispensable. Each one of those cases had a lot of value and, and were difficult to replace or will be difficult to replace. But indispensable is too strong a word. PSA is going to go on as BGS has without me. The forward-looking statements that Nat is all about the future, again, the transaction is done. We now have new leadership in place with, and some other uh, additions have come into the leadership team. It's all about making investments in the company and scaling 
uh, what they're doing. Those are things that Nat is really good at. He's demonstrated that with other companies that he's uh, grown and sold. So I hope Nat's there for uh, 22 years. I hope Joe goes on to 22 more years of doing something else, whether it's hunting and fishing and relaxing or uh, jumping in the fray. I, th I think he's got a law degree, but I probably don't think he wants to practice law. But again, a sharp guy in the industry, and uh, I wish him well in his future endeavors. So thanks, everybody. And uh, thanks, Joe Orlando, for your service to the industry and helping it grow. Uh, I always felt that if, if we can make the pie bigger, I would and people would get a bigger piece. So definitely, Joe, you help make the pie bigger. So thanks, everybody. Be back again on Monday with another episode.